Hi, this video tutorial I will cover the difference between serializable and externalizable. Using serialization technique, we can save the state of the object into files or we can transfer the object from one JVM to another JVM. To serialize the object, the class must implement a serializable interface. But a serializable interface has some serious drawbacks that we will see. Here you can see class D which extends class C, class C extends class B, class B extends class A. Suppose if you are serializing a class D object, then along with that super class objects also will be get serialized and saved in the file, which is sometimes unnecessary and not only fields and properties are serialized, along with that class information and metadata information also get serialized. Assume your class D has 100 fields or properties out of which you want to serialize only 5 fields. Then are you going to declare remaining 95 fields as transient to avoid serialization? This is another big issue. You really don't have any control on what you want to serialize and what you don't want to serialize. You have serialized only 5 fields out of which uh, you are interested to deserialize only two. How do you do that using uh, serializable? It is not possible. So you have no control on deserialization, which eats up uh, unnecessary space. When you implement a serializable interface, it is recommended to define serial version UID, which is unique ID to identify the information persisted. If you don't define a serial version UID, then JVM automatically gives the serial version UID. JVM calculates a serial version UID by using all the fields and other information of all the classes in the hierarchy. And calculating a serial version UID is time consuming process. If you want to control serialization, externalizable is the solution. Externalizable is the interface which implements a serializable interface. But it gives uh, two methods, write external and uh, read external. Externalizable only serializes or writes the information about the current object, not the object of uh, superclasses. Whatever you want to serialize or deserialize, you have to write the logic in write external and read external methods. So you have the entire control on serialization. Here you can see the steps to work with the externalizable interface. Your class must implement a externalizable interface and should have a zero argument constructor. Zero argument constructor would be needed while deserialization. And your class should override write external and read external method and provide implementation. And define what you want to serialize inside write external method and define what you want to deserialize in read external method and uh, this is about uh, the difference between serializable and uh, externalizable and uh, thanks for watching